Hey yo, what up people, this is your boy Jason J. Kex and today we are back with another video and today's video guys is one of those videos that I consider to be very very important because on today's video I'm gonna show you how you can legit check your upcoming Jordan Force White Thunder um, right here on this side I have a fake pair of the shoe and right here I have the real pair of the shoe so today we're gonna see the main differences between these two in case someone tries to sell you fakes you can know which are the main differences between the fakes and the real so that's what we're gonna do guys today's video will be for educational purposes only but before we go into that please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already activate that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video which is every single day guys so, so go follow me on my instagram and on tiktok as jason j Cakes. and now let's begin this video So here I have the two shoes guys. This one right here is the real one and this one is the fake one. These are um, different sizes because I couldn't get um, the fake one in the same size as my um, retail pair. But I mean, we're gonna see the differences anyway because that's, that's the most important thing when it comes to these shoes. The size is something that I will prefer to have on both of the shoes on the same size, but when it comes to the differences, I'm sure we're going to notice that on today's video, but something that I want to tell you first is respect the fakes. If you don't want to get scammed, respect the fakes. I'm not telling you to love them, but respect them because fakes are not what it used to be, you know? And if you think um, fake shoes are straight trash, you're probably going to get scammed when you see the quality that today's fakes have. So that's all I'm trying to say, you're right? Then get me wrong. All I'm saying is respect your enemy. With all that being said, first, let me show you the retail pair, the real pair. And right here I have them. As you can see, we have the white jump man on the back. We have white underneath, um, the black netting system on the side and on the tongue. Look at the uh, jump man right there with fly below. Look at the toe, look at the shape of the toe and everything. Look at that. Cool, the material on the shoe. Keep this in mind, the bottom of the shoe. I clean this one because this is my actual pair. And if you follow the channel, you know that I've been wearing this shoe for on fit videos and all that. By the way, if you want, you can go and take a look at those videos, but I clean them and they looking pretty good. So yeah, this is a shoe. This is the real pair. Now, let me show you the fake one. Look at that. And I gotta say though, it's pretty crazy because these people are like, man, the job they're doing is crazy. It's really, really crazy. But let's see if we can find some differences because as you can see, this damn shoe is very good. Let's be honest, it's very damn good. Very good. So what are we going to get when it comes to these shoes? In order to know that, we got to go with both of these shoes side by side. So let's do it. So here I have the fake and right here I have the real one. Take a look at both of them together side by side. They look pretty good, you know, like from afar, they look pretty good. When we go and see um, the shape of the toe, uh, if I gotta be honest, <laughs> let's say that it's very damn near close. And let's see both of these have um, the real one. You can see the widow's pig here on the real one and also right here and on the fake one. You can see that the widow speak is not like as pronounced as it is on the real one. It's here. It's just that we can see it that clear when it comes to the fake one, but it's here, you know. Keep in mind that the widow speak should look like this. So yeah, that's a difference right there. The netting system looks pretty much the same, but don't feel the same. The plastic on the on the real pair feels a little bit more soft. On this one this is like a hotter plastic that they use for the fake one so keep that in consideration your plastic shouldn't be this hard like it is right here on the fake pair of the shoe now when we go to the eyelet um, this is the eyelet of the fake pair this is the eyelet of the real one and 
at that point, it, uh, they look, they look, <laughs> man, they look nearly identical. I gotta be honest, but right here we have the same problem that the plastic of the fake one feels a little hotter than the plastic of the real one, and uh, the eyelid here and the wing of the of the fake pair. This one already have like some some scratch marks. And uh, this one too, but it's because I've been wearing this one and you can see that these are marked that has been made by um, the wing side touching some areas. Not like this, this is something, I don't know <laughs> what is that, I don't know what make that because this is a brand new pair. So when we go to the, um, to the tongue of the shoe because I'm already seeing these here and I wanna point that out, look how clean the tongue of the real one looks. You see the shape is looking damn near perfect. But when we look at the tongue here on the fake pair, you can see how it bounced like over and over. Look at that. You can see this in camera. It's bouncing. It doesn't look as clean and crispy as it looks right here on the real one. Take a look at that. Look at the shape of the tongue of the real and look at the shape of the tongue on the fake when we go to the pattern of the of the of the sug liner of the shoe i can see that i can see more lines on the fake one than on the real one so that's that's something that you can keep in mind this is a good logic check point you see all the lines right there on the fake one and they are not as noticeable right here on the real one as they are on the fake one um let's see the jump man and the fly Mm. They got that pretty much hot on, but uh, it's hotter and hotter every time to legit check shoes nowadays. But the tongue, pay attention to that because they they struggle with that. They struggle a lot with the tongues of the Jordan Forge when they producing this fake pair. So keep this in mind. So now let's go to the back of the shoe. What do we have here? It's pretty much the same same shape i think the 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 white is a little bit more like clean you see how this one is a little bit more vibrant than the fake one is yeah that's a good logic checkpoint too i think and when it comes to that the stitching take a look at the stitching here on the fake you see how they are not that clean so that's another good logic checkpoint that you can use guys the stitching on the fakes they are always struggling with that, so keep that in consideration. Look at that. Look at the stitching here. From afar, they look good, but when you look at them close, the stitching on the fakes are not that clean. So that's another thing that you can um, use to legit check your shoes. When it comes to the finishing touches of the shoe, a lot of times Nike is struggling. So Nike is known for having bad quality controls, but these people sometimes they do cleaner shoes i don't know why but they put like more effort in in the finishing touches even though we can see some glue stains here uh, on this shoe as well but minors let's see now how are the finishing touches on this shoe right here and look at that look, look right here on the retail pair you see the glue stain here it's not that bad it's just a little bit here but we didn't see that on the fake one this one has this this one seems to be a little bit more ashy. You can see the, the marks here. I don't know if that because I've been wearing the shoe a lot, but I can already see like you know the ashy look on the shoe. So let me go into that because this is the new bug that Nike used for the shoe. It feels good to the touch, but it's a little ashy, alright? It's a little ashy. We can see that. On this one looks clean and oh, but the feeling. The feeling is different. This one don't feel that soft like this one feels. It's not super soft, but it's softer than the fake one. That's what I'm trying to say. From afar, this looks so damn good. I ain't gonna lie, but doesn't feel like it, you know. The feeling of the suede is better on the real one than it is on the fake pair. To be honest, I was expecting to get um, more differences, but they are nearly identical from afar specifically they are nearly identical you can see that on camera i don't know man nike 
these people are coming for you. We can't lie. We're seeing it here in camera. They are nearly identical, nearly identical. The bottom of the shoes, let's see. Ah, I don't know, man. They look nearly the same, nearly the same. What can we say? Well, this one is a lot more shiny right here in this area than this one is. You can see that. You can see how shiny this is. And this one is not that shiny. So yeah, the bottom of the shoe shouldn't be this shiny. Should be more like this. But yeah, that's that's a different. At least I found a difference. Some struggling to find differences here. Outside of the song, these these shoes are nearly identical. It's crazy. It's really damn crazy. So um, let me take out the insoles of the shoe to see if I can see something here. Hold on. Ah, this is the hardest part always. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the insole of the fake. And we can see that it's not that clean. You can see this here? It's not that clean. They, they always do these things right here. They are not that clean. So, yeah. What, what kind of this is dream cell supposedly they use dream cell for this one what do we have on the real one let me see this have to be a little dirty but not quite i can already feel the difference okay oh oh okay nike damn i, I wore this shoe a couple of times but i was not expecting this nike come on nike i'm trying to help you do better Come on, do better. What is this, Nike? Damn. Okay, we have a problem here, but uh, uh, I told you it was going to be dirty. I've been wearing the issue. But this one have the problems that this one have here. You see how these things are like going off already? Right here, we don't have it. Yes, it's dirty, but we don't, we don't have these. We don't have these things right here. Nike, play me dirty right here. I'm already mad. What can I say? But... This is the real pair. This is how the shoe should look. The problem is that the fake one is looking almost the same. All right. It's looking okay. Okay. Now I'm coming back with you. Remember the bigger one is the real one. The smaller one is the fake. Take a look at the shape on the back. You see how the real one is a little bit more straight than this one. You can see that right here. Look at that. It's not that bad, but it's definitely different. It's definitely different. So the shape is slightly off on the fake as well. But outside of that, as you can see, these two shoes are nearly identical. So be careful out there, guys, because these people are going to come with a fix. I didn't show you the, the, the dimensions of the box because this is obviously a smaller size. So the box is going to be smaller. But um, just let me show you right quick. It's nearly the same box, you know white with black lettering and that's basically it i think the fake box is a little bit more shiny than the real one but outside of that same shoe what can we do about that guys if you appreciate the content i will appreciate if you leave a like for your boy because you know the haters are not gonna do it so if you appreciate the content leave a like for your boy also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to see more of my content but outside of youtube make sure to follow me right here on my instagram is jason jkx i'm always uploading videos picture sneaker information like shock drop early access all the upcoming releases you're going to know about that first right here on my instagram jason j kicks thank you again for watching guys i'm sorry if you were expecting a lot more differences but right here i do honest videos i show you everything on camera so you saw what i saw but if you see something that i didn't mention because probably i was not paying attention to point that out in the comment section feel free to do it so let's improve this video together guys so see you in the comment section thank you again for watching and till the next one Goodbye.